Can you read to me the nameplate? Judge Ebony K. Williams. So the only thing that matters in this particular courtroom is how I see it. I am from North Carolina by way of Louisiana with some West Coast cool and a New York edge. Do we have a problem, ma'am? No, I don't, Your Honor. Equal justice is all about the most important values of our country, freedom, integrity, and those are the things that I'm striving for. Ma'am, you run your household. This man gets to run his. I decided to become an attorney and pursue the law. I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless. This court can not hold this woman accountable. People from all sectors of life, black, white, purple, gay, straight, queer, and that's what Equal Justice with Judge Ebony K. Williams is all about. Rayella Williams claims the wig of her dreams turned out to be a nightmare. Star Vincent says the plaintiff ignored her wig care instructions, so she's not to blame. Ms. Vincent is countersuing for $10,000. Ladies, I see I have Miss Rayella Williams here as my plaintiff. Miss Williams, you're suing the defendant for $880. Miss Star Vincent, the defendant, uh, you are countersuing for the amount of $10,000. Yes. All right, let's start with you, Miss Williams. Why are we in court today? I had entrusted uh, Miss Star here to be able to give me a very beautiful, custom made, uh, natural look for a wig. I am used to wearing flat, straightened hair, mm -hmm. braids, and I wanted to try to transition into my natural hair. I spoke with her over social media mm -hmm. and asked if we can have a consultation on making me a beautiful customized wig. Great. She told me immediately that uh, she can do something with really tight curls, mm -hmm. and I asked, would you like me to buy my own hair? I can mm -hmm. get Brazilian hair from someone I trust. And she insisted that she get the hair herself. So I said, okay, being a hairstylist, it shouldn't be a problem, she knows what she's Doing. I said, for sure. She went ahead and said that we had an additional charge, which brought it to the 880. Okay. So I went ahead and we had the consultation. She gave me the wig. It was beautiful the first day. Was the consultation in person, Ms. Williams, or was it virtual? It was in person. In yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. Um, and she put the wig on me. Beautiful. Loved it. Uh, she also gave me a packet here stating on how to take care of the wig. Mm -hmm. So uh, I followed the instructions. It had something about co-washing, mm -hmm. um, not using certain products. Mm -hmm. Well, as I used the product, products that she said were great for the hair, this is exactly what I got within result after two weeks of use. And That's a two week old wig? Yes. Wow. Two weeks. Would Elijah, you like can you bring me the wig, Absolutely. please? Thank you. I need a little bit better. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. As you see, I cannot see that being worth two weeks of $880 worth of wig. I don't know what that is, in all honesty. And out of respect to Ms. Starr here, I contacted her and saying, mm -hmm. hey, I don't know what went wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, I followed the instructions to a T, and then took matters to my own hands. I did use coconut oil to uh, towards the ends of the strands to try to detangle it. The comb wouldn't go through, my hands mm -hmm. wouldn't go through, nothing. It ain't, it ain't going. No. Okay. Um, Elijah, go ahead and return this to the plaintiff. <laughs> my goodness. Um, okay, let me, um, it looks like you're referring to some instructions there that yes. you received from the defendant. Uh, hand those over to my bailiff. Yes. Please, Have the entire folder, please. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we want to review everything, and then we will hear from you, Ms. Vincent. Thank you. Whew. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's look at these instructions. Hair care guide, let's, let's look. The hair wet sections thoroughly, mm -hmm. time for rinse, you have to detangle, co-wash with just water and conditioner. Mm -hmm. um, and you're telling me, ma'am, that you followed these instructions precisely? Yes, until I took matters in my own hands and then I did not because none of the what she had wrote, wrote there was working. Was working. Um, and so at that point, you abandoned these instructions and you used the coconut oil? Yes, just on the ends though, not throughout the whole hair, just okay. on the ends. Okay. And it, it doesn't even feel like natural hair. It feels like synthetic hair. Oh, so you don't really believe this is natural hair? No, ma'am. You think it's synthetic hair? Okay. Yes. Um, before I go through this other evidence, let's hear from you, Ms. Vincent. Uh, good day to you. Uh, you are a professional hairstylist? Yes. I how have... long have you been doing hair, ma'am? Ten years, Your Honor. Okay. Um, and your hair looks beautiful today. Thank you. I highly doubt that Rayella has followed the instructions to a T. Mm -hmm. I have a sample of the same hair that I've sold her mm -hmm. with the directions. Coconut oil, as she admitted by her own volition, mm -hmm. it's not on the list. Okay. Uh, why don't you offer that up to my bailiff, ma'am? Thank you. That hair sample. I don't know if we in a courtroom or the beauty shop or what's going on. <laughs> a little bit of both. Definitely not a beauty shop. Hair, everything. Look, hair to the left, hair to the right, hair everywhere. Okay. 
Um, okay, I see this is a bit more manageable. Mm. It's a lot softer, it's, it has its curl. Well, I've I, been wearing extensions for the last 15 years, which is why I got into the business. Mm -hmm. And I stand by my products, I stand by my service, my client, my Elijah client said he wanted to hold on to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, got it right. Um, here's my question for you, Ms. Vincent. So you've yes. been styling, you said, for over 10 years. Yes. You've gotten into the hair business because you are well adept at yes. textures and whatnot. Yes. How did you go about even meeting Miss Williams here? Your Honor, Miss Williams lied her way into my salon. Lied? Yes. I did not she lie, claimed, Your Honor. She claimed okay. that a client referred her. Okay. When I talked to that client, it was not true. I found that only after the fact. Coming up on Equal Justice. Miss Williams is unhappy with this particular wig because no matter how it got there, it got there, and this is a hot mess. You agree with that? Yes. That looks crispy and terrible. Yes, Your Honor. I would just like to say that I did offer to assist her. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with a dispute between Rayella Williams and hairstylist Star Vincent over a subpar wig. It is true, Ms. Williams, that you had not known anyone personally. That no, had, I didn't know but, anyone But you personally. saw from social media, and yes. that was the, okay. Yes. So back to you, Ms. Vincent. Yes. So uh, what, what, what am I looking at here? What are these examples of? So you're looking at three different textures of hair that I sell, mm -hmm. all of which are soft, are touchable, have different curl patterns, mm -hmm. have different versions of hair care. Let me come down there to you, because that's a lot of wigs for you to be pulling up here, Elijah. Let me come down here. Let me get a sense as to exactly what we are working with here. Okay, so this seems to be like a looser curl pattern. Yes. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. this is this. Okay, and then this looks to be a little more similar mm -hmm. to what Miss Williams was purporting to have wanted, right? Exactly, just a few highlights in it. But really, this is this most is... indicative of what that used to look like. Yes. Okay, let me get back on my bench, please. Okay. Ooh, child. <laughs> okay. Thank you. My hands are oily. Okay, so you say, Miss Vincent, that you delivered a custom-made wig. Yes. Which resembled something like that to Miss Williams here. Yes. And yet somehow, some way, that doesn't look like that, I assure you. Absolutely, Your Honor. Why is that the case, ma'am? My contention is that she did not follow the instructions as provided. Mm -hmm. That hair is damaged, it's fried, no, Your Honor. it's dry, well, and it's screen. crispy. <laughs> That is you not said, you, did you say crispy? crispy? It, so we're now wearing a chicken it. joint. Like mm. chicken? Okay. <laughs> or, or fish, to be fair. Um, okay. <clears throat> this goes left. Before I because I see y'all have provided me with a whole bunch of receipts here. Yes. Before I get into all this evidence. Obviously, at this point, Miss Williams is unhappy with this particular wig. Because yes. no matter how it got there, it got there, and this is a hot mess. You agree with that? Yes. That looks... Crispy and terrible. Yes, Your Honor, and I would just like to say that I did offer to assist her. When she contacted me after the two weeks, after she had already damaged it, I said, what can I do? Can, it, can we meet? Can we work on it? She did not communicate. She did not want to work on it. She did not want Show my assistance. Show the, give the text messages, ma'am, to my bailiff. Okay. Can just have the go. entire folder, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and let's go through these. She, did, she was not choosing to work towards a resolution. No, I was. Hold on, ma okay, right. ladies. I know y'all are upset about this hair, but let's just wait a minute. Okay, Star, this wig you sold me is a complete mess. I've been washing it exactly as you said, but now it's all tangled. You scam me, I want a refund. Hi, Rayella, I'm sorry to hear you're not satisfied, but I can assure you I'm no scam artist. I would not have the business I have if I scammed people. Mm -hmm. Let's figure this out. Did you follow the instructions? She says, of course I did. I'm not an idiot, but this wig is a disaster now, and I'm convinced you sold me some low-quality hair. So let's, let me, I'm going to pause here. Why not, Miss Vincent, use the hair that she suggested that she wanted used to make the custom unit in the first place? I like to use a hair that I refer because I know the quality, I know the consistency, it's trusted. When she, people bring it here off the street, it can go any which way. And so you don't really do wigs outside of the hair that you Exactly. Source. Okay. And on my Instagram, it says 100% non-refundable. My, my Instagram isn't there. So my, my policies are fully stated. Well, I do I, say, uh, I see, yes, your Instagram here, all services are not refundable. Okay, but, but then yet here you are. You say, I take pride in the quality of the hair I sell. It's important that we make sure that we're following the care instructions to the letter. Maybe something went wrong, I can help you detangle it, but I cannot provide a full refund for installed hair. Mm -hmm. A refund is not an option, right. you're saying here. 
and right. you're, you, you stand by this today. Right. So the best you could offer her was the detangling services. And try to restore it to its previous condition. Okay. And I'm just going to ask you a good faith question, ma'am. Right. Bring that weed back over here, Elijah. Please, sir. Thank you. You're telling this court that there's a restoration process available to this particular head of hair? <laughs> yeah, ma'am. I've, wor I've worked miracles before. I'm not sure I can get it back to 100%. But I can do something with it. I can steam it. I can detangle it. Steam it. <laughs> it looks like she's caused some dreadlocks in the back with the coconut oil. I'm not sure. That's why we don't put oil on hair. Okay, Elijah, you can take that. And oh, again, that is her own admission that she put products not in the care on the hair. Okay, okay. You so that's, that's y'all's text communication. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm seeing a bunch of this, that, and the third. Now, I, I, may I also uh, inter interject real quick, Your Honor? Yes, Ms. Williams. So I went ahead and did my own research further uh, to see about her clients and her followers. Mm -hmm. And I did, if you look in there, there is evidence of me speaking to a young lady who's also been scammed and said that there are multiple people out there that have also dealt with the same situation. You I know saw that, something like that. Yeah, okay. she, she's not on Yelp. She's not on credible sources like Google, Yelp, or anything for when they can review and they can't delete mm. chats or, or comments. If you look on social media, you can see that she deletes all the negative but keeps all the positive. Okay, I am seeing lots of positive. Did someone say glow up? Seriously, this is a masterpiece. And then I also you have proof that the young lady I spoke to, she also tried to get her money back and she wouldn't, she was just disrespectful towards her. Right. Let's talk about what you and this other woman talked about. I'm looking at this communication. Yes. Hi, Layla. Just saw your post on Star's page. Uh, can you believe she scammed me too? I know, right? It's insane. She gave me the worst weave I've ever had. It looks nothing like what's on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. She doesn't care because I'm not some Insta celebrity. Ooh. Yep. Um, she acted all nice at my appointment. It's a mess. Exactly. We deserve amazing hair too. I'm never going back to her. Let's find someone who actually cares about her client. It's pretty scathing, Miss Vincent. What do we have to say about it? It uh, her her multiple sources is that one source. Coming up on Equal Justice. Already is beautiful and wants to be more beautiful? I think her attitude begs the question, but oh, that's my attitude. Oh, oh so if I don't back. have over $1,000. Okay. Yeah. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with a dispute between Rayella Williams and hairstylist Star Vincent over a subpar wig. I have 410,000 followers. They're I have plenty, team. as you saw, the positive... Go ahead, Ms. Vincent. I have positive reviews. I work with a lot of clients who are not just social influencers and celebrities. Mm -hmm. In over 10 years, I work with alopecia victims. I work with cancer victims. I work with people who want to be beautiful, mm -hmm. and they trust me to make that Well, you don't happen. think Miss Rayella already is beautiful and wants to be more beautiful? Yeah. I think her attitude begs the question, oh, but that's my attitude. Oh, oh, oh so if I don't have okay. over $1,000. Yeah. Let me ask you this, Ms. Vincent. You're presenting the court with a $10,000 countersuit. What in the world could that be for? Like I said, I have 410,000 followers. Mm -hmm. You saw the comments that she was leaving under my post. Yes. That one comment was viewed by 26,000 people that saw her slanderous and inaccurate statements. Well, I don't know. Is it inaccurate? Look, you looking at the wig? She did that. She created that I mess. That. Hmm. She admitted that when she left the salon, she had a beautiful head of hair. Mm -hmm. What happened afterward and the time when she texted me it was under her control. It was under your control. It's okay, under... so listen, I'm going to rule on this matter shortly. Ms. Williams, I'm going to give you a final word here before I make my, my ruling. Um, Ms. Vincent is saying that the wig was beautiful when she last saw it. Yes. And now, under your care for two weeks, it looks a disaster. Why is that her fault? Because I followed her instructions to a T. Mm -hmm. And once I didn't see anything happening to the wig, mm -hmm. when I tried to use something else that was not on there, it still didn't do any justice, so therefore, I'm just, I, you know, I, I just want to feel beautiful, Your Honor. That's all I want to feel. I want my money back. I understand mm -hmm. that she stands by her rule of not giving refunds, mm -hmm. but as black women already, we already have an issue with how we are treated with our hair. And right about black that. woman to another black woman, mm -hmm. I assumed she would be willing to do more by just giving me my refund. Coming up on Equal Justice. Your Honor, in the beginning, she admitted that she did not know how to work with curly hair or natural hair. Mm -hmm. And so... But isn't it your job to teach her? Because she's your client. This is Equal Justice. Equal Justice is back with a dispute between Rayella Williams and hairstylist Star Vincent over a subpar wig. You can get this detangled? No. 
know. And within two weeks, mm -hmm. and it doesn't, Your Honor, it has a certain smell. It doesn't even feel human. Oh, it's a hot mess, no it's, doubt about it's, it. So it, it, I, I can't see me mm -hmm. or within two weeks doing this much damage. Okay. It just was not great quality hair. Who says it's real hair? Well, we don't have the, 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 the fact-finding device in the courtroom no. today to find that out, but no. we will, we will, your exception is noted. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, in the beginning, she admitted that she did not know how to work with curly hair or natural hair. Mm -hmm. And so... But isn't it your job to teach her? Because she's I your client. To. The hair care goes beyond just what to put on it, which she put a, the wrong products on it, I can already tell. The ends. It also t tells you how to section it, how to go piece by piece. Mm -hmm. My own hair, I have to detangle, I have to take care of it. Yeah. It's okay. not an easy process taking care of curly and natural hair. Okay. All right, ladies, listen, I've, I've heard enough at this point to go ahead and, and make my ruling. Um, Ms. Williams tells no lies when she expresses the great complicated relationship that black women have with our hair. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is due to society and European beauty standards that we have long been held mm -hmm. to adhere to that are unnatural for us. Um, so I applaud you. Um, I will be vulnerable and share with you that I was one of the last relaxers standing myself <laughs> and I just made my transition to a natural hair state uh, in the last 24 months. So I, I, I empathize with you ma'am in terms of being new to black natural hair care. Mm -hmm. And it can be very intimidating, mm -hmm. as you understand, Ms. Vincent, yes. uh, to go from years of straight styles and blowouts and things of this nature to now chemical uh, relaxed treatments mm -hmm. and things to now trying to figure out how to navigate the hair as it grows out of our very scalp. You understand, Elijah? I'm just kidding. Sure. You, don't, you, don't, you don't understand at all, sure. Elijah. Judge Ebony's verdict when equal justice returns. This is Equal Justice. This case turns on one fact and one fact alone for me, because I think you both make compelling arguments. Yeah. But because you got frustrated, and I know you were frustrated and upset, but because you then went outside of the scope and the perimeters of the instructions you were given, you contributed to the damage and the irreparable wig I'm looking at today. And therefore, I cannot hold this woman accountable. Uh, now, as for your countersuit, ma'am, all I know is this woman is speaking her experience. This wig is a disaster. And if she went on social media as one client, one uh, unsatisfied customer should not undo your entire business if you are the hair goddess that you claim to be. Because you should have so many positive reviews that this one bad apple should not even be relevant. Therefore, you're both going to get dismissed today. Miss Williams, your claim for $880 is going to get dismissed because you put that oil on there and that was not per, per her instruction. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. Miss Vincent, your counterclaim is ridiculous. Um, if you have such a good business reputation, stand on it. Your counterclaim is also dismissed. That's my ruling. Judge Ebony has ruled. Both claims have been dismissed. Any final thoughts for each other? Well, hopefully she'll get her clientele better. Hopefully, hopefully she'll learn how to do her hair. Oh, so. look at her hair. She thinks she's Beyonce. Okay, you've had your, your day in court. Please follow me out. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.